All right, so let's create a map with some nice hover over effects. So first thing I'm gonna do is these two statements right here. There's, there's a little bit of code in this example, so I'm not gonna go over every single little detail, but let me just create this data set and then, then show it to you. Oh, let me just get the first couple rows. Okay, so notice there's 50 of them. So you can see at the end here, there's 50 of them. So for each state, we have its abbreviation. Okay, so take Alabama, for example. We have its population in millions. And then we have some hover over text. So this hover over text is gonna be the state abbreviation, Alabama, then a line break, and then population, 3,615,000. This is population in 1975. Okay. Um, the borders, this is just going to be an option. Uh, this is kind of unnecessary, but we're just going to make those red. Okay. And then map options, again, it's going to be a list. Uh, th the scope, we want the USA to be the scope. Um, and, you know, just play around with these options. I think, um, I think you'll, you'll have to just, you know, if you want to dramatically change this map, do it for a different, different area or country, you'll have to, to flub your way through it a little bit. But I think a lot of it is quite obvious, like show lakes equals true just means you're going to show, show the lakes. Um, up oh, lake color, lake color white. Uh, yeah, so in this case, I think we changed the lake color to white just because the, the uh, color coding we're using is blue for population, so we didn't want the lakes to um, the the lakes to be blended in with the states with uh, with the same color of blue. Okay, so then plotly again is the command. The state pop is just the data frame. Okay, uh, Z is the population. Text is equals hover. That just means we want some hover over text. The locations are the are given by the column name state. Type is chloroplath. Location mode is USA states. Uh, color uh, color is we're going to color code by the population. The colors this is just the um, the palette it's using in this case just the blues, um, which is just a continuous shade of blue. Uh, and then this this gives a um, the how it's going to draw the markers in this case on the borders. Um, and the, uh, this is then passed. The output of Plotly is then passed to the layout, which also then gives it um, a, not only a title, but it, then it brings in these map options. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. And for me, it wouldn't, I guess maybe this is just too com complicated, but it wouldn't display in the viewer for me. So I'm going to click Save as Web Page and just overwrite a, the kind of template web page I've been using for this example. And there it is in, in, a, in, a, in my browser window. So now when I hover over a state, it's got, it's got the state's population. So we could go to Alabama, for example. You can see that's the exact text we wanted right, right there, Alabama. Okay. All right. So try and create a map, you know, first, First thing I would say is take this data frame that we're looking at. It's got other columns in it, not just population, and try and create some other maps and output them to web pages and see. And, and I think as you go through it, it's you'll you'll get a better feel for the options. Um, so as at a start, just recreate this map and then try and recreate one with some of the different variables. Try to have the color mean a different thing. Um, and uh, I think you'll find this is a pretty handy way to create interactive maps.